Six years ago, voters in Michigan passed Proposal 2. Prop 2 bans the use of race and gender in the admissions decisions of public universities in their state. So University of Michigan, like all the public universities, must follow the law. It's the law, and they need to follow it. But U of M, like all of our public universities, can't abandon the important priority of making sure our campuses are diverse for all Michigan students. One place that U of M is falling short, clearly falling short, is in the area of economic diversity. The University of Michigan does not have economic diversity among its students, as indicated by the following fact. Across Michigan campuses, across the state of Michigan, almost 40% of Michigan students receive Pell Grants. This is from the Education Trust. It's an apolitical foundation that studies these issues. So 40% of Michigan students across Michigan's campuses receive Pell Grants. The receipt of a Pell Grant generally indicates that a student is coming from a low or middle class family. At the University of Michigan, only 13% of students are Pell Grant recipients. This gap tells a very troubling story. So the University of Michigan must do a number of things to improve the amount of diversity that it has on its campus. So how do they do that? How does the University of Michigan do that? Number one, it needs to make financial aid more available for students from low and middle income families. Two, it needs to improve the Michigan College Advising Corps, a very successful program that reaches out to students across Michigan to bring them to the University of Michigan and make them aware of the educational opportunities. But making the University of Michigan more accessible and more affordable are the two biggest priorities of my campaign.